In this video, we will go through 10 of the best VS Code extensions for front-end developers in 2023. Starting with number one, Prettier. Prettier solves two problems. Number one is a messy code, like this HTML file here. And number two is collaboration with other developers. Before we had Prettier, we had a lot of code that looked like this. A lot of individually styled code because people had their own personal preferences. Enter Prettier, that code formats every time you save. Now you, your team, your company, and everybody else who uses Prettier has a code that is formatted in the same way. Although it removes some personal preference for you and everyone else, it is extremely efficient for readability and for large-scale collaboration. Or as this Reddit user said, nobody loves what Prettier does to their syntax, everyone loves what Prettier does to their co-workers syntax. Number two is Live Server. With 34 million downloads, Live Server has become an essential part of the modern workflow. Without Live Server, you might open your project like this. You might reveal it in the file explorer and then double tap here to open the website you're working on. Now, if you want to make changes to your website, like adding another header here, you have to save and then refresh the page to show the changes. That is fine enough with 13 lines of code, but with increasingly complex projects, large style sheets where you're tweaking the colors, the heights, the margins, the display properties, you don't want to be saving and reloading between every single change. As well, if you're running projects with frameworks like React, Vue, or Angular, you need real-time compiling for them to work. With the live server extension, we don't need to open our files anymore. We simply go live and it opens a customizable port for us. Now, if we add a third heading, we'll see that it updates automatically. Third pick is Path IntelliSense that auto completes file names. For reference, here I am in VS Code Online where I don't have the extension installed. I want to link to my CSS file and without the extension, I would have to go slash or dot slash style dot CSS. Now switching to my local VS Code and I can easily link to any file within my project folder. Here I have the folders suggested, I can go into the styles folder and I can choose between the available style sheets here. So I'm going to choose the style.css. This saves you a lot of time, a lot of spelling mistakes and a lot of bug checking because you forgot to link to the correct file or you wrote it wrong. Number four is better comments. The problem with how default comments are shown is that it's not very visible. For example, let's say I want to describe what this code does. Then I would like to ask my teammate if they can change one part of the code. And maybe on this line, I would like to add a to do to update the code with new naming convention. As we can see, it quickly gets messy and hard to keep track of what intention we have behind each comment. Back in my local VS code where I have better comments installed, I can have more visual meaning by having the default comment. That's fine enough. But by using a star, I can highlight the comment now, giving it a lighter and more easily read shade. Furthermore, by adding an exclamation mark, I can make the color red. I can also add a question. I can also add to do's right in my code. The next extension makes it even easier for us to create to do's within our Visual Studio code. To do tree, when enabled, literally highlights the to do's for you in your code. And also by clicking on the to do's on the left section here, you actually get a full overview of all the to do's in your project. So if I add another to do, we will see all our to do's and clicking on them takes us to each one. Number six is code spell checker. Very useful if English is not your native tongue or if you just write fast and you tend to make spelling mistakes. Here I'm creating a function, but I've purposely misspelled it. As we can see, code spell checker is already figuring out that this is probably supposed to be a function. And we can press the quick fix and we get the number of options to click on. And then the same for hello. It is an unknown word. We get a quick fix. Let's choose hello. And it exists in a variety of different languages. It is no secret that code can be difficult to read for humans and especially HTML. 
even when we have used prettier as we have in this file. And one of the big reasons for this difficulty is when you are working with elements that are nested within other elements that are nested within other elements that are nested again within other elements. And all this nesting can make it difficult to understand on which layer you're currently working on. Enter indent rainbow. Here we see a copy of the code we just saw. But now it is much easier to see because of the red indent and rainbows which layer is which because they're all split up with different colors. So we can clearly see which elements are on which layer. The next extension, highlight matching tag, further solves the problem of unreadable code. At times it can be hard to understand where some elements have their starting tag and where their corresponding end tags are, especially here where we have a lot of div tags right next to each other. What highlight matching tag does is that it gives you the ability to click on one div and you see the corresponding closing div. If I click on this one, we see that the other one is here. If I go to the head, we see that it also targets the other head tag. Next up is code snap super useful to share our code. When installed, the only thing you have to do is target the code, right click, scroll down, and you'll see code snap here. You click that and you get a neat image of your code ready to be shared. You can now copy that code and you can paste it wherever you want, like in your email. This is actual text that you can edit, reset, again, for example. The next one on our list is VS Code Icons, which solves the problem that large projects can be more difficult to navigate when they have a lot of folders, a lot of files, and they can also look quite visually unappealing. You might even say boring. What this extension does when it's enabled is it gives every single file type a new icon, as well as it gives individual folders, depending on what they have inside and what you call them, different icons and makes everything a bit more sleek and a bit easier to navigate. And with that said, give this video a like if you found it useful. Comment below what extensions are you going to start using. And if you would like to see more videos like this in the future, then subscribe and hit the bell. And I'm going to leave you with another video here that I found really, really, really cool. Until next time, see ya.